My name is Melanie Hayden Gephardt. I'm an assistant professor in neurosurgery. I take care of patients with brain tumors at Stanford Healthcare. I was always very interested in neuroscience and studied that when I was in college. And I did consider doing purely research, but I found that I really liked working with people. Doing well? I'm very, very well. I liked the idea that a patient would come in and they have a severe problem and that you can fix it and you can really improve their quality of life. This was really cemented for me when my uncle, who was 34 years old at the time, died of a glioblastoma, which is the most malignant brain tumor in adults. That experience was very much a transition for me because it was now from the perspective of having a family member who has a malignant brain tumor. My feeling about what he went through and how he was treated definitely influences how I interact with patients and it also solidifies and formalizes my dedication to working on research because I want to contribute to that effort to continue to come up with better treatments. I first decided to do a neurosurgery rotation when I was in medical school. My first experience of actually seeing and doing brain surgery, it's a very humbling experience. It's a very precision oriented and the outcomes are incredible. The first time that you see or perform an awake craniotomy where you're operating and taking out a very complicated brain tumor, you have a stimulating probe which you place on the origin of the patient's ability to talk. You turn on the stimulating probe and the patient can no longer speak. You turn off the probe and they have normal speech. And that kind of experience that you can change and that disease can change the central core of who this patient is and how they interact with the world is a very humbling experience.